What is up, viewers? It's just Yard Worker here to present another LEGO review from last summer's 2010 LEGO set. Um, the Wampa Cave. Um, ages are seven through twelve. Um, pieces are two hundred ninety-seven, and um, the cost originally was this was forty dollars. I bought it for a steal of thirty-five, which is five dollars off the Lego set. It's pretty good. Um, the set number is eight zero eight nine, and the set features the Rebel pilot Zev Senska, who is seen in Star's Episode Five. Battle of Hoth. Same as in um, the Rebel Battle Pack that came out last year. Same guy. Probably the most common like a f um, figure that you can find of a famous... A person with an actual name. Luke Skywalker Hoth comes with Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. And Luke Skywalker in a Hoth Rebel uniform. Same face from the... Um, Lego Luke's Land Speeder. Um, a Lego Skeleton. And it's not the one with the arms that dangle, like, shake it around and the arms move around. It's actually kind of like the Lego Castle Skeletons. Except without the evil face. And an exclusive minifigure. Well, it's not really mini. Um, it's a Hoth Wampa. It has horns like the Tauntaun, only it's gray. Um, there's an arm to uh, grab like Luke Skywalker but for example just put the rebel figure in here you can grab rebel and then this arms for holding like a weapon like maybe a chicken leg which came in the set but I kind of threw it away because it wasn't really important it's like somewhere in one of my Lego bins and now on to the set let's go on to snow speeder um, this is one of the first snow spears that has come out for a while. I think since 2007, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's a tow winch, which, like, you, like, if you had an AT, AT, it'd work perfect for, uh, let me get untied, and, like, yeah, it falls off a lot, this is the bad part. Now you see this cable, you unwind it, this cable right here. And it just comes down, and you can also just pull it out. So if, like, you're fighting, like, for a mock or, like, stop motion, just clip that on to the AT, AT walker and swing it around, make it fall. Now, the turbo lasers and the design pretty impressive. And, like, you know Star's Battlefront 2 on Hoth when, like, you're in the snow speeder and turns and, like, this flap comes off up like that? I thought that was a really nice detail to the set. It's on both sides. Um, rotating, like, guns for, like, the engines. And, um, the pop-up part, like, where, like, Luke or the pilot, who's ever piloting at the time, could get out. And if everyone wants to get out, you could open it like that, and they both would get out. The bad thing about this set is that um, it originally came right here where the pilots and gunners would sit. Um, it was a yellow flat piece, like the Lego guy couldn't stick on, so when you'd like kind of move it around, they'd toss all around in um, the cab. So I inserted um, a small 2x2 two two base plate to put in there. Another bad part about the set is that this thing can come off really easily, which kind of gets annoying. So, you just kind of take Zev Senska, put him in here, and try to make him as low as possible, or the thing won't close. And then... There he is. Pretty cool. There's a gun on the back. I assume it's probably what the cable's shooting out from, but I really don't know. Now the skeleton. Let's move on to the cave. You'd take its hand like this, and oh man, this thing falls apart a lot. <laughs> You'd take 
this and um put it right here. The skeleton's bending up like it's a dead human that's probably been there for a while. Now that's probably Luke's Wampa. I mean not Tauntaun from that got mauled. Now one of my favorite parts of the set is the classic scene from Star Wars. Um you just take the back of Luke and put him up here like he's frozen in ice. Then you take his lights his father's lightsaber. You put it in there, clip it in. Clips in okay some times it doesn't work because it's just really pink. And then you just pop it and yeah, it sometimes breaks. Not the best quality, but it actually works pretty good sometimes. So when he's, for say, using the force, just pops out and shot down there. And I don't get that. Oh, there it is. It just pops right out. It goes into Luke's arm. He comes down and cuts the Wampa's arm off. Now, this Wampa... You can detach its arms and the horns. Um, all you do is take a... It's basically a Lego Technic minifigure. But see that little blue piece? Just pops up in there. Pops up in there. Uh, nothing really much to the set. Uh, if you're making a mock, the cave would be a good thing to use. You just build on from that, I guess you could. Or if you're making a scene from Lego Star Wars. Um, overall, I give the set four stars. And I think you should buy it. It adds a pretty good collection for all you people who um, never had the chance to buy a snow speeder like in the earlier times. If you want to get a snow speeder, this probably will be the last set ever to come out with a snow speeder. And probably the only set to come out with a Wampa, most likely, because it's only shown in one scene. So... I would get it. This is just Yard Worker, and thank you for watching another one of my views. Reviews. Yeah. Bye.